Good day, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to this uh, episode of the Business Mentors. So in here, we're going to be looking at our low content strategy and comparing two tools uh, that I have been using recently um, for keyword and niche research. So we have uh, Publisher Rocket, which uh, you've probably watched a couple of videos on, and we also have KD Spy. Um, and I want to see kind of how they work um, and see which one maybe gives a little bit better results or is maybe easier to use. So um, right now I'm looking into doing robot coloring books. Um, it's a niche that I think I recently kind of discovered in the coloring book space. I like making coloring books. I've been making them in different ways. Um, we'll make some videos on how to make coloring books soon. Um, but right now, as we're doing some niche research to see if maybe robot coloring books are the route we want to go down, let's see the information we can get from these two tools. So right now, I just see right off the bat, there's 519 results for robot coloring books. I'll top into KD Spy and see what we can get. And right now, off the bat, it is pulling up Wally. -E. I'm not too sure why. Let me give this page a refresh. Maybe it was um, doing something earlier that I didn't like while I was pulling this up and getting ready for the video. So it's loading the page and for robot coloring books. We're in right now in all. Maybe that's why. Maybe it is an input book up there. But oh, here we go. All right, so we've got um, robot coloring book. Discover this collection. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> so according to their stoplight feature, it's not very popular. There is not much potential, and the competition is pretty healthy. So that is probably less than optimal, at least in the USA market. It's trying to tell me that's probably not the best to go after the word cloud, robot coloring kids, boys, rank tracking. Um, that's interesting. Oh, because I was tracking that something the other day. Okay, interesting. So let's go with our keyword analysis. Most of them are about 80, 50, 30 pages. Okay, um, interesting stuff. Average sales rank. All right. And if I click on keywords, I want to drop in here our um, robot coloring book and see what comes back. Please try another right now. Robot coloring book, great coloring pages for kids two to eight. Robot coloring book for kids. Got a little stoplight there that tells me it's not doing too well. 858 competitors, a thousand competitors. So maybe this space is a bit thick, but let's take a look. And that will allow us to get the tracking data for that. Very interesting. All right, let's pop that same information to our keyword research tool here um, from Publisher Rocket, Robot Coloring Books. Robot Coloring Books for Kids, four to eight. So yeah, it's saying that our competition isn't very stiff at all in this space, which is awesome. But it's telling me that there's not many searches going on right there. And it's not really giving me other alternative keywords to use. Now, I definitely like the layout a little bit better of the Publisher Rocket than I do the, the KD Spy. Um, I will tell you that much. I think it gives us a little bit more right in your face. This is the data you need to know for that one. Um, and I think it's a little bit easier to get those alternative keywords when doing our keyword search. But it is just really all in the layout at the end of the day because I just have to click on keywords here, switch over to books, and just say um, maybe robot activity. Because remember, it's not all in that. It's all in what they search, right? So, um, robot activity board, ooh, pretty stiff competition, a lot of going on in there. Um, kids, robot. Let's see what comes back there. Kids, robot books, kids, robotics books. Okay. Um, coloring books for kids. Let's see what comes back there and see what maybe kind of long tail keywords we find. Awesome animals. Ages six to eight. Okay. I'm just trying to think if we can find some other word. Let's actually go back to our results on this page. Let's use our word cloud. So we have kids, coloring, robot, boys, ages. 
dot. I'm trying to find what terms, maybe the people searching for, that robot coloring books would be a, a good fit for. And at the same time, compare Katie Spy's results to Publisher Rocket's results. So I decided to switch over here as we we're going through. And uh, after having paused that for a minute, let's look into maybe animal coloring books. Because it looks like robots isn't, robot is not a very popular term, at least. Um, and we found one here called Animal Coloring Book for Teens with a competitive, competitive, competitive score, excuse me, of 49. And what is Katie Spy telling us about it? That it should be the revenue potential of these books on this keyword looks very good. Competition, it said, is very strong. Popularity is medium, um, which is very interesting to see that kind of So it's very interesting to see the difference from these two being populated. Where animal coloring books for teens here, yeah, there's a lot of competitors, good average earnings, um, and the competitive score is pretty low, but here they're giving it a higher competitive score. So that's kind of really the difference, uh, a big difference between maybe how their analytics are working between these two different tools and what they're giving you with their results. Now, if we wanted to look at this title for the animal designs and see how it comes back, coloring books for boys with animal designs. It's pretty cool. And let's see what comes back as our competition on this one. Yep, they have the same one at the top, so they're analyzing the same results. Any alternate book there? No, Air Therapy Coloring is the author, Animal Designs. Been up for 823 days. Price. So they give you a little bit more information that you're looking at on one than the other. Um, I kind of like to see how long it's been up there because it helps tell, well, is it doing really well in a short period of time? Or is it doing well over a very long period, right? 800 days, that's in excess of two years. It's been out there for a while. It's got a lot of juice. Um, a lot of these ones have been up for a while, so there's nothing really fresh in this niche. So that could be good in that people have already bought what's there. And people that are into these coloring books and whatnot, they're into coloring books, period. They're always looking for new designs, fresh alternatives, and new stuff to try out. So would you see a niche that maybe has stuff with a lot of age in it, but still a lot of traffic going in? You might want to try and break into it because they need fresh designs. People that buy these books that buy Sudokus, they do them all the time. So they're trying to buy new books and different designs and stuff like that all the time. Oh, I didn't even see it over here on the side. July 31st, 2017. So they're giving you the same information in Katie's Spy as they are in Publisher Rocket. Um, now I guess it's really just a choice of, of which layout you like better and how it performs. You know, for me, um, one thing that, I mean, I've grown here with Katie Spy is that you can just go to keywords and we don't have to be on that page and we can just type in here, you know, coloring book Christmas and let it search, right? But as soon as you do a new one, this one has gone away, right? Um, and let me try and maybe swap that around and bring it back to the front and see if we get some different results. Whereas in this one, I can keep going, right? I can just flop back to the ones that I had before. Um, so if I'm doing some research into a niche um, and I wanted to review a term or find something else in a, in a list of terms because I saw something that caught my eye, um, I can just go back to it without having to research it. Where with Katie Spy, I have to go back to results, keywords, you only get one. You're not able to have multiple like you are with the publisher rocket. So let's see what publish what Katie Spy came back with. Jade Summer, obviously that's a person. There's a lot of for seniors. Okay, that's a pretty cool idea right there. Um, let's see if seniors came back on this one. Christmas coloring book for adults. So this one came back when I looked up Christmas coloring book. Publisher Rocket gave a lot more alternative keywords, religious. 
That's actually not bad. You can break into that one right there. For kids, let's see what comes back. For kids, 30,000, 39,000. So maybe there's a rounding error there or something. Jesus coloring books, okay. Wow, that one's actually ripe to be broken into right there. Ah, senior. So came back with some of the same ones, but this one only came back with five, where this one came back with a lot more um, options, which I like those options because I might find a word where I wasn't thinking of it. Um, yeah, creative Christmas coloring books, you know. Let's see what that comes back with. Ooh, that was tough to get into. Um, magical, right? So. Uh, not many people searching for that, but that helps having all those additional keyword options. So um, it's pretty interesting to see the similarities and the differences. I will say that overall, I like the publisher Rocket Bear because A, it's independent of the browser, where if I click somewhere on the browser and I open up a new tab, Katie Spy has gone away, right? Whereas Publisher Rocket is here in its separate application. I can have the multiple tabs for my keyword research that's going on and not lose them and not have to do one at a time. I can kind of bounce back and forth and say, oh, that's right, I was looking at this and oh, farm animal coloring books. I'm going to go look at farm books or something like that, right? Or uh, zoo animal coloring pages, okay? You know, you're able to then go through and get a lot more options, I think. And if you do get distracted on something, you can always come back to it where you don't have to remember to research it like you do in KD Spy. So that's a quick little overview of both of them. I have uh, affiliate links in the description for both of these products. It does help pay the bills. It doesn't cost anything extra. It just gives us a little commission, help pay for the internet, the power, you know, and uh, kind of keep uh, this, this online magic running. So appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you at the next